Welcome to our Customizing Forms mini-tutorial. This presentation will show you the basics on how to customize an existing BusinessWorks form and save it as a new form. In Sage BusinessWorks, forms are checks, invoices, statements, and other documents that are normally processed for sending to customers or for purchasing goods and services. Sage BusinessWorks includes many print-ready forms. To see the available forms, you can go to the Utilities and select Maintain Forms. To see forms for a specific module, you can either select the module from the Form Types drop-down, or you can go directly to the module, to the Utilities menu, and select Maintain Forms there. If you don't find an existing form template that works for your company, you can create a new form from scratch or you can modify an existing form template. We recommend you modify an existing form since most people only need to make minor changes to existing forms. All forms are available in all companies, including the sample companies. Some of the most common reasons people want to customize a form are to add a company logo, add additional information, move the location of fields, change the type of information printed, and change the font. As I mentioned before, Forms Maintenance can be selected from the Business Works Launcher Utilities menu, which lists all forms for all modules, or from the Utilities menu in each module. I prefer to select from a module's Utilities menu because it will only list forms for that module which makes finding the right form a little faster. Selecting Maintain Forms displays the Custom Forms List window. Click to select an existing form, then click the Edit button or select the New button. It is usually easier to edit an existing form because it already includes header, footer, and other formatting that can take some time to set up. I'm going to select the Order Entry Plain Paper Standard Invoice Form and click on Edit. This will bring up the design screen. From the design screen, you can size fields or drag them to a different location on the form. You can also add fields and insert logos. We recommend not removing fields from a form because it can cause alignment issues. If a field is not needed, you can make it invisible during printing. To make a field invisible, right-click it and a submenu will appear with several options. Click the Visible option to remove the check mark next to it and that field will be invisible to printing. I'm making the label Invoice invisible. To view your changes, click the Preview tab at the top of the design window. Notice the label Invoice no longer displays. Click the Design tab to go back to the Designer screen. Each form type contains specific fields that can be included on the form. For example, an accounts payable check would include a vendor name and address, but would not include any fields from another module, such as an employee name and address. Each form is also divided into sections. Each section of the form defines how the information will be sorted and where to put subtotals, headings, and footers. The header section will print at the top of each form and usually contains primary information such as a customer name and address or employee or vendor name and address.
The Details section lists each transaction record for the current primary key. For example, if this is an order entry invoice form, the Details section will print one line for each line item on the invoice. The footer sections print after the detail section and at the bottom of each form. The footer normally contains subtotals, notes, or other summary information. At the top of the design window are one or more formatting icon bars. These icons give you the ability to add additional fields or change the appearance of what prints. To edit a field, click on it. Small black boxes called handles display around the field. This tells you the field is actively selected. Click on a handle and hold the mouse button down while dragging your mouse to size the field. Click on a field somewhere other than the handle and hold the mouse button down to drag the field to a new location, then release the mouse button. This field will then move to the new location. To move several fields at the same time, you can lasso them. The lasso is done by clicking just outside the upper corner of a field, then holding down the mouse button and dragging diagonally across the fields you want to include. You will see a dotted box indicating the lasso area. Any field in that area will be selected. When you have all the fields in the lasso, release the mouse button. Give it several seconds and all the fields in the lasso will display light gray handles. You can now click anywhere in the selected area and hold down the mouse button and drag the selection where you want it. To move a field by very small increments, click the field then hold down the control key while pressing an arrow key. To change the appearance of text on your form, select the field or fields that you want to change, then click the format icon of your choice. For example, if you would like to change the font for the invoice total to be bold, click the invoice summary amount block field, then select the B, bold icon. You can also change the font type, color, etc. I'll change the summary label and the summary amount block color to red by lassoing the two fields then selecting the font color icon. There are several types of fields on a form. A label field will display what you type into it, for example, the word invoice. A DB text field will print one field of information from the database, such as the amount of a line item on an invoice. The data fields drop-down list is available to select fields from the database. A DB memo field is a block of fields grouped together like the bill to address block. DB memo fields will expand or contract depending on the amount of data in the fields. For example, if this customer does not use address line 2, it will contract so there is no blank line. It is important that you select the correct field type when pulling information into your form from the database. If you select to add a field type of DB text, then try to add a block of information into that field, the form will not print the information correctly. To add fields to a form, you must select the proper type of field. For a label, select the label icon from the icon bar at the top of the form. Then click on the area of the form where you want the label to appear. This puts a new box on the form and is selected by default.
With the field selected, enter the text you want to display in the set value box above. I am adding the label fax number. Next, let's add a field from the database for the fax number. Click the DB text icon, then click on the form where you want the fax number to display. After adding the field, select the data fields drop down list and select company fax. Size the field to fit the entire phone number format. Now let's click the preview tab to see how these changes look. The fax number label and fax telephone number will now print on the form. To add a logo to your form, select the image icon. Click on the form where you want to add the field. To bring the image into your form, right click on the image box you just added. Select picture, then browse to the picture file you want to put on the form. Highlight the picture file and select Open. You may need to adjust the image to make it fit on your form. Right click the image and select Auto Size to mark the Auto Size option. Then you can use the image box's handles to size it for your form. BusinessWorks does not allow you to change the name of a default form template, so when you edit a form template, you must save it as a new form name. Before you name your customized form, notice in the top left corner that the current name of the form is OE Invoice Plain Paper. Enter a new form name that will be easy for you to identify as the one you customized. Once you click OK, notice how up in the top left our form is now named Order Entry Custom Invoice. You can now exit the design screen. The new form will now appear on the list of forms. Make sure that you select the new form the next time you print. Use the online help to see what toolbars are available and how to use them. You can get there by clicking on the How Do I? And then About Maintain Forms. You can scroll down and click on the Forms Reports Designer Toolbars. And this is a list of the different toolbars that are available. If you click on a specific toolbar, it will give you information and the description for each of the buttons that are available. For example, the Data Components toolbar, these are each items that pull information from the database when you choose those buttons. If you run into a problem that you can't figure out when creating your form, call the Sage Software Support Department and a support analyst will be happy to help you resolve the problem. And again, some of the most common reasons that people want to customize their forms are to add the company logo, add additional information, move the location of fields, change the type of information printed, and change the font. Thank you for viewing our Customizing Forms mini tutorial. You can visit our website for more mini tutorial presentations.